Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about work problems, work done by forces, um, in situations where object, the object is moving along an inclined plane. And the reason why this requires sort of its own video um, is because these questions can be pretty tricky and I want you to be ready for some of these things. Let's check it out. So first remember, theta in the work equation is the angle between the force and the displacement. Right? Force and displacement, they form uh, two vectors, two arrows. Um, so there's a very specific definition as to what theta is. And a lot of questions will give you the wrong angle to try to trick you into using the wrong angle because they want to make sure that you know what you're doing. So I think it's helpful to have sort of a healthy amount of paranoia every time you see a theta to make sure that it's the right one. Okay? One quick thing here before we start. Um, when you have an angle, um, when you have an inclined plane like this, the plane's length which is this, I can call this L or D, it will be the distance going up and down, is related to its height and to its angle by this equation. H equals L sine of theta. I need you to remember this, as well as obviously the equation for potential energy, MGH, and the work done by a force, which is this one, okay? I'm going to do an example that I want you guys to try one practice problem. So let's check this out. I have a 100 kilogram crate sliding uh, at a constant 7, so let me write some of this stuff down, mass is 100, velocity is 7, it's a constant velocity which tells me the acceleration is 0. From the top of a 12 meter long ramp that makes 37 with the horizontal. So let me draw a little uh, ramp here, and this ramp makes 37 with the horizontal down here. Um, it slides 12 meters, so I'm going to say that the entire amount of your the length of your displacement or your distance is 12 um, and you start up here and you're going to slide down so first thing I want to know is what is the crates initial potential energy so potential initial is potential initial uh, gravitational because there's no spring so the potential here has to be gravitational only and it's just if you remember mgh initial potential energy is mgh, the mass is 100, gravity we're going to use 10, just to make it simpler, and my original height is, I don't have it, right, I don't have the original height, um, but I can find the original height, and that's because h, h is L or D sine of theta, so it's 12 sine of 37. And 12 sine of 37, I have it here, is 7.2. So that's my height initial, and that's what's going to go right here, 7.2. When I multiply this whole thing, I get 7,200 joules as my initial potential energy. Cool? That's it. The next question says, we'll use the work equation, which is this equation right here, to calculate the work done by MGX, MGY, and friction. So, the work done by MGX. Remember, the work done by any force, since I want to use this equation, is that force, MGX, distance, cosine of theta. But before I do anything, I'm going to have to calculate MGX. So let's do that real quick. MGX, I hope you remember, is MG sine of theta. So mass, gravity, we're going to use 10 and sine of 37. When you do this real quick, you get a 600. MGY is MG cosine of 37, and that's 800. Okay, these are forces. This is a height, but this is a, these are forces, so they're Newtons. So, MGX is this number right here. Okay, so 600 goes right here. What is the distance? Well, the distance you moved was 12. And what is the angle? The angle is the tricky one, right? So some people might have thought that, that was 37. It's not. It's the whole purpose for the existence of this question is to make the point that it's not that angle. Okay, check it out. You are moving this way. And MGX is this way. Those two are parallel to each other, which means they make an angle of zero degrees with each other. Okay, so this is the cosine of zero. 
And when you multiply all of this, you get that the work done by MGX is 7,200 joules. I got a positive, which should make sense because even though I'm not going directly down, I am losing height. And if you remember, the work done by MG is MG delta, delta H, right? So if I had an initial energy, if I had an initial energy of 7,200, the work done by MG should be 7,200 if I fell the whole way down. So that kind of matches up. Uh, what about the work done by MGY? So MGY, MGY is 800. The distance is 12. Cosine of what? Well, you're moving this way, delta X. MGY is always into the plane. So this makes an angle of 90, which means this is zero. And you might remember the work done by MGY is always zero because it's always perpendicular to the plane. It's always into the plane. Same thing as the work done by normal. So it shouldn't be a surprise that we got a zero here. The last point that I want to make is that the work done by MG can be thought of as the work done by MGX plus the work done by MGY. But the work done by MGY will always be zero. So the work done by MG is the same as the work done by MGX. Okay? And if you remember, the work done by MG is also mg negative mg drop in height. In this problem, my uh, change in height. In this problem, my change in height was negative, so these two negatives cancel, and my total work done by mg turned out to be positive, which is consistent with the idea that if you're going down, mg does positive work. Okay, so that's the basic idea here. Explored a few things. Um, key points. So we we got to use our um, h equals l sine equation cool but a key idea here is that this angle here is zero okay not 37 that's the angle for the plane another point that's important to make is that um i do use this angle in these equations here right when you decompose mgx and mgy you have to use the angle at the bottom of the incline but for work there's a very specific definition which is the angle between the direction or the displacement and the force, and in this case, MGX and delta X went down. I've said that a bunch, uh, a few times already in this video alone. Hopefully, uh, it clicks. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I want you to do this next practice problem. Let's give this a shot.